So I learned a hard lesson with display port cables in that you really need to buy VESA certified display port cables because I bought this non-certified cable on Amazon sold by JS Aux. And the one thing missing from the listing here on Amazon is the fact that it does not say that it is VESA certified. So it's not a certified cable. It hasn't been tested for VESA certification. And what that means is manufacturers have to follow a certain protocol in the way that they wire their cables. So if it's not certified, you don't really know what you're getting. So here's what's so strange is my computer is turned off at the moment, yet the LEDs on my Sonnet McFiver card are lit up and there's a red LED on my logic board next to my RAM that's lit. These should not be on when the computer is powered off. So this is really odd and it took me a while to figure it out. How is power getting to my computer when it's shut down? And after pulling cables and putting cables back in, I figured it out that my DisplayPort cable was sending power from my monitor, even when it was in standby, to my computer. So power coming into the computer via the DisplayPort. And as you can see now, no LEDs are lit because I unplugged the DisplayPort cable. And now I'm gonna plug it back in and you will see that it's gonna light up my logic board. And that's not cool. It actually wound up frying my McFiver's USB-C port somehow, which in turn fried three of my really expensive SSDs. They were bus powered SSDs. And whenever I plug them into the USB-C port, they actually stopped working. And then I found that they only work at USB 2 speeds. A chip on the drives must have gotten fried. It happened to three different brands of drives and only on the bus powered drives. It did not happen to ones that plug into the wall. Those still worked. So it was some kind of power short going on and the drives did not like it, nor did the McFiver. And Sonnet was good enough to send me a brand new card. And so far with my new cable, which I got this cable, which is certified and extremely cheap, it's not passing power into the computer through the DisplayPort cable. Pin 20 is not wired. And thanks to the Cable Chick website who had very nice diagrams and info about this, issue. I'll leave a link to the blog in the description. You can see that all the pins are wired except for pin 20, which is the power pin. And that is the correct wiring for a VESA certified DisplayPort cable. So long story short, all DisplayPort cables are not created equal and you want to get VESA certified cables. I'm also wondering if maybe that's the issue with my HDMI cable. I don't get the HDR option like I do with the DisplayPort cable um, with my HDMI connected to my OLED monitor. So possibly I need a VESA certified HDMI cable. Not sure about that one, or it's just an Apple thing and you have to have DisplayPort to be able to get the HDR option working. So to wrap it up, the new cable is doing its job. I no longer am getting power sent to my Mac Pro and the new McFiver card seems to be working just fine. No LEDs on when I power down the computer. You can purchase this cable by clicking the link in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, so that does help my channel. It'll be much appreciated. Please subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.